The Russian military command has a number of possible courses of action that it could take in response to the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region. As analysts at the U.S. Institute for the Study of War, ISW, write, it is not yet possible to say which of these possible courses of action is most likely, and most likely the Russian military command will not rely on only one course of action. At the same time, the Russian military command's decision will be influenced by its perception of the size and capabilities of Ukrainian forces in the area. Option 1. The Russian military command can use conscripts, FSB border guards, the Russian National Guard and other irregular forces already deployed in the area of the international border. Russian military commanders may pursue this option if they assess that lower quality forces, which are likely to be less well equipped, can effectively stop Ukrainian forces which have reportedly successfully employed innovative tactics and technological capabilities, the analysts wrote. Option 2. The Russian military command may decide to use the northern group of forces deployed in the border areas of the Kursk, Bryansk and Belgorod regions. At the same time, analysts write, the ability of the northern group to conduct effective defensive operations and significant counter-attacks is unclear, and its redeployment to push back Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region will create vulnerabilities in Russian defences on other parts of the border. The Russian military command may also try to use this option if it considers offensive operations by the northern group of forces in the north of the Kharkov region to be less of a priority than defensive operations in the Kursk region. The ISW notes. Option 3. The Russian military command may decide to transfer operational reserves accumulated for the offensive actions planned for the summer of 2024 from other places on the front. The Russian military command may decide to retain existing operational reserves intended for priority sectors of the front, in particular to support a higher tempo of the offensive in the Donetsk region and instead transfer frontline units from lower priority sectors to the Kursk region. Option 4. The Russian military command may attempt to preserve the forces it currently has deployed to the Kursk region, but at the same time transfer significant air and strike units to the area. However, it is unclear whether the current Russian forces deployed in the Kursk region will be able to use the effect of air power. It is also unclear whether large-scale air operations over the Kursk region will disrupt Russia's ability to regularly use tactical aircraft to carry out glider bombing strikes along the entire front line. The ISW notes, 